I think power comes in all sorts of shapes and sizes. We've got the ocean, for instance, which you know is over 71% of the Earth's surface. And if we could harness it, humans could survive off of it to eternity almost. There's fish in it, there's currents flowing. It's just a massive untapped power resource. When I first got into powerboat racing, I'd gone from racing motorcycles where I had a little 250cc engine and then suddenly I was in this boat which had twin 700 horsepower engines and I suddenly realised what power was. I suddenly felt this surge, this unforgettable push in the back that just didn't stop and from my perspective it was like a drug I was hooked. It was my eureka moment. By the time I was 21 I was racing professionally in a class one team and I won my first world championship then. I've always enjoyed speed and enjoyed power. I've always enjoyed mechanical things ever since I was a kid because my father used to race powerboats and build powerboats. I understand what it takes to make it do what I want it to do and I, I think that's been very important for me. Turning on power like with a turbine boat, it's relentless, it's uh, simple energy being thrust forward. And that's what I like about the Bentley in a way. It's got, it's big, it's powerful, it just keeps pulling and pulling and pulling you. It's effortless power. My race boat does just under 200 miles an hour. The Bentley Molson Speed does just under 200 miles an hour. But that is completely where the similarities end. Racing a boat is like halfway between flying a plane and driving a car because to make it go fast you've got to get the boat flying just on the surface of the water. Not too high where it takes off, but just kissing the surface. As the surface moves, your horizon vibrates and you end up with the, almost a blurred sensation and your head's rattling around and everything's moving. It's like going on the wildest fairground ride in the world and you're pushing yourself to the edges that you probably shouldn't go to. That's when you get the adrenaline rush. We currently have the speed record for a propeller-driven craft at 244 miles an hour, but we've done a lot of testing since then. We believe that the boat can comfortably break the record at 250 miles an hour on a two-way run, so that's really where we'll be heading, hopefully, in the near future.